Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we've got we've got to discuss this, man, because yeah, uh, good old, good old, what's it called again? Uh, so so, camera. Oh, duh. Yeah, I'm I'm not trying to use the camera. I'm not trying to use the camera. I'm not trying to use the camera. All right, so we're gonna talk about all of this stuff today. Got people in the comment section and everywhere else calling me out for calling out PlayStation for these practices. And then we've got like the head of marketing or something over over at Xbox, like one of the marketing people over there talking like just just blatantly being racist and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that clearly that's a real thing in the industry. And I think that, you know, when 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 everybody was laying people off. To be completely honest with you, when like Microsoft and PlayStation and everybody was laying people off, they probably should have got rid of all the stupid blue hair people that that are ruining gaming, man. That that are ruining gaming, that are destroying these companies, that are dragging all of this stuff through the mud. Because it doesn't matter what you think or how you feel. At the end of the day, racism is racism. It, and and there's. You know, the stupid argument that, like, it's impossible to be racist against white people. No, no, dude. Like, there's there's been racism in all forms throughout history. I mean, white people have been slaves. Like, every, every, every race, or, I mean, we're all the human race, but every single freaking ethnicity of people in the world have at one time been um, slaves. <laughs> So anybody trying to tell you anything other than that is 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 crazy, and they are blatant races, racists. Am I even live, or just nobody showing up for this? <clears throat> but we do need to talk about Xbox with the whole the whole thing, you know, about forcing this um, diversity in um, inclusion or, or whatever it's called, equity inclusion or whatever. Obviously, that is that is starting to. It's it's not necessarily a problem, per se. I I've I've never I've never once in my life thought like, oh man, there's like more women and 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 like you know like black people and other things in video games. Oh my gosh, man, that's that's not fair. There's not enough white people. Never once have I thought that. Um, and and normally like I'll play a game. Like dude, I loved freaking Forspoken. I thought it was freaking awesome. Um. And, and, and like everybody else was like, no, we don't like it. And, and I guarantee that there were a lot of people out there bashing that game just because, you know, but at the same time, you know, like Sweet Baby Inc. and all these other, you know, companies are working on these games. And I think it's just stupid. The way that they write things into video games is absolutely stupid. I've said this on this channel before. Neil Druckmann is the absolute king of making good woke content. I mean, obviously, you can look at the you can look at the Last of Us 2 and be like, "Yep, man, everything's added in there that's woke." Hey, at least that story hit pretty damn hard. You know what I mean? The story hit hard, the 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 gameplay hit pretty hard, the freaking blood and gore and all of that stuff in that game, that all hit pretty hard. The visuals like, yeah, dude, he's the king of making woke content. <laughs> I know we're getting there Sanchez. No. I no, it's it's not a it's not a question of like PlayStation or Xbox or AAA developers all going woke all of a sudden. No, man, these companies are literally infested with these people that that just they 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 hate America or they hate something or they hate this or they hate that and and they're all just depressed and they're they're all like and they all live in this like stupid little bubble where they all just affirm each other's stupid feelings every single day instead of like getting out there and like knowing other people in the world they're all centralized in these little hubs in like San Francisco or Seattle or or just these little areas where everybody thinks like them so and and they don't get out because I guarantee you man like that stuff that way of thinking it wouldn't fly in a lot of the places that these people um, don't seem to be in. You got to understand, like they want to push their little narratives and their, their little drama and whatever else that they're, they're trying to push their bubble outward. And it's like, no, dude, we don't want your bubble. We don't care for your way of thinking. That is, that is like, 
to, to me that like that kind of thinking is absolutely crazy. Prom date, Shadow's, uh, Shadow's favorite mission. <laughs> yeah, Sweet Baby worked on God of War. Yeah. Obviously, dude. There's like rainbows in there, bro. You can find like a story about this. Uh, she does look like a dude, man. <laughs> That's the whole point of it, man. They 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 wanted... What's up, Mr. Glass? They, they wanted to bring out... Like... I don't know. At first, I thought it was like a wow factor thing. But no, these people absolutely believe this stuff. And these are the people that are making our games now. They're not They're not the old people that are making our games anymore, man. These. This is the new... This is what video game makers are, bro. This This is them. It's, they're not... They're not going out of their way to bring in like sweet baby ink and stuff. No, these all they all think the same. They literally all think the same. They they all live in the same damn bubble and they're just like, "Yeah, well this call sweet baby ink, you know, it's like a pat on the back, hey buddies, and you guys come in here and write some stuff for us." And it's like, "No, dude. Like I don't think any of them have the capacity to write any free in anything better anymore. They 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 just don't. They left that stuff at the doorstep. When, when, when you've got, <clears throat> so you got Amy Hennig, she's bringing out that new Marvel video or that new Marvel game, that Captain America game, you know, like uh, Marvel 1943 or 1946 or whatever it is. And, um, you, you'll, you'll see, man, like we'll, we'll see if she went down that road too, man, but dang, kill the justice league with this one. Yeah. So you know you know fabio fabio my friend yeah obviously they brought that garbage into the game but you know what man some games some games are worth some games are worth still playing some games are still worth playing because of the gameplay i i like the gameplay of 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 uh kill the justice league i thought it was fine for video games i learned my lesson years ago and stopped pre-ordering it <laughs> yeah so I've been buying a lot of old games, guys. Um, and right now, dude, my favorite game, my favorite game to come out this year right now is is freaking Dragon's Dogma 2. <coughs> and then the next one in line after that is is um, is Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the Ronin, I've been playing that. Like, the, dude, the performance is crap. Like, trust me, it's crap uh, when you get into the open world. But, dude, the gameplay is actually freaking pretty cool, man. I'm, I'm liking the gameplay of Rise of the Ronin. Stellar Yams, bro, like, ah, uh, okay, to me, to me, like, I, I mean, like, the, the whole selling point is, is Stellar Yams, bro, um, and that's the way I feel about that game, because if they put, um, I, I don't know, man, it does kind of feel like a dated game, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be all right, maybe it'll be all right once you get in there and start learning, like, new moves and sets, Sometimes, dude, there's been many games that I've started and been like, ah, oh, dude, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through the first couple of hours. And then they turn out to be amazing games. And and I kind of feel like Stellar Blade is going to be one of those type of games where I've, I'm, I'm like, after playing the demo, I'm like, dude, do I even, you know, like playing a demo like that kind of makes it, kind of ruins things for me. Kind of, kind of ruins things for me, man. I should have never played that demo. I should have just bought the game when it came out because then I would have been forced to play it. But now I'm just like, I don't know about it. $80 to $100? No. You know, part of me doesn't... I mean, like, if it was a game like Dragon's Dogma 2 and the, and the price was 80 bucks, 100 bucks. I I I'm, I would be like okay, so I tried to rush through Dragon's Dogma two, not not tried to rush through it, but I but I at least you know tried to do all the story content through it, and I got to the last boss dude, and he straight beat my he straight beat me up, he just beat me up. I was like, are you kidding me? He just beat me up. I was like, no, dude, don't beat me up like that. That's not cool, man. You should. But the first time when I first got to him, he's like. You can let me have this human and you can turn around and walk away and, and we're good. So I was like, all right, peace. <laughs> I walked away and then it gave me the most dehumanized or a demoralizing freaking end of end of game I've ever played.
Is acquiring Baby Inc. I bet they are, dude. I, I, I why wouldn't they? It sounds like Xbox is acquiring them too, man. Xbox has got a has got a taste in their mouth for freaking destruction, you know. And we and we I'm not gonna sit here and pretend. I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend that Xbox like some of these games coming out of Xbox aren't woke. You you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend that, um, because they are. <laughs> I mean, they changed up the way freaking, well, her name's not Cortana anymore, but they, they, they got rid of the old, you know, skin tight freaking Cortana look. They, uh, I mean, but it, it's not like too far removed. There's all kinds of wokeness in freaking Forza Horizon 5, bro. You can pick your pronouns. Uh, dude, that's the industry now. How's the carnivore diet? <clears throat> the carnivore diet's doing fine. I actually, I actually had a little bit of pizza today, man. I actually had a couple slices of pizza today. That's why I got a little fat gut going on today with my little rainbow shirt. I'm going woke too, guys. I'm going woke. But you know, there's there's plenty of wokeness in these in these uh, in these uh, Xbox games too. There is, man, and and that's just the industry that's just the people that are making them they they want to put this stuff in their games thinking that and and you know what dude you could you could you could try to say well oh man they're just they're just trying to do it so that they can get like recognition or brownie points or something like that and uh no guys that's not the case that's actually how these people are thinking now <clears throat> that's actually how these people are thinking yeah <clears throat> I've lost over 60 pounds, man. I've been on the carnivore diet for six months now. I started in October. I've been on here for for six months. I had to put my seat down a little bit. Oh. So what do you guys think, man? Like, I, I think I think that the woke stuff is here to stay, bro. That's just who's making our video games now. To be completely honest with you, I, I don't think there's really anything we can do about it. That's just who's making our video games, the blue hair people. We're, we're sick and tired of you not, you not, you not, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, nobody cares about this stuff, man. But, you know, what do we do? What do we do as gamers, though, man? Like, like do we force them to make stuff they don't want to make? Or do we let them make what they want to make and pick and choose our battles because that's that's kind of the, that's kind of where it sits right now man you can't force people to be creative if they're not invested in it then, then you just then you don't get anything good but you know as a message for developers out there if any of the developers app, app, actually decide to stop and like listen to what i gotta say look i'm not 100 percent against you guys making the content that you want to make but when you make stupid comments like white people this and white people that, um, don't fall into that stupid trap and and because because racism isn't going to save you. Racism isn't going to sell your products. Racism isn't going to make anything better because when you say white people, it it it's 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 stupid, man. Like it it's really dumb. If you want to be inclusive and put whatever whatever you guys want to make your game if you want the if you want the protagonist to be a female you know like a like a black female that's cool like i don't have a problem with that not at all i mean <laughs> why why would anybody care about that like nobody cares it's when you add all the extra insults to it to try to be like yeah we're doing it. that's that's where everything falls apart if you're going to write a character write a good character Write a badass black female character. Do it. I dare you. I mean, seriously. I dare you, you know. <clears throat> Give her a real personality instead of just this, oh, man, like, against white people, like, racism. Like, quit putting that stuff in video games. No, Nobody nobody cares about that. Like, nobody cares about that. It doesn't give you any brownie points. It's not going to sell your video game. Um, it's just going to It's just gonna annoy people more than anything. Uh, Cause not everybody thinks like that. Not everybody thinks that all of America is racist. I, I mean, at least uh, I don't. I I don't like it, like why why would you feel that way? I I don't I don't get it. It's a governmental thing with Biden. I think 
it'll be gone when Trump. I think when Trump gets back in power, dude, it's gonna be even worse. <laughs> that's what started. That's what that's what started these people on the on the path that they're on now, dude. That's <clears throat> that's what led to their crazy man. They they just couldn't. I I mean, like, dude, Trump really didn't do anything all that bad while he was in office. You know what I mean? Like, we were actually had more money in our pockets. Prices were cheaper. We weren't letting the rest of the country, the rest of the world, take advantage of us. We weren't going to war. You know what I mean? Like now we're like Biden's been there for three years. We're already in. We're we're already in more wars. There's already more more stuff going on in the world today. And I'm like, gosh dang, man. <clears throat> yeah. See, once they started adding political stuff to our video games, that's got gamers divided man like we're divided we already had enough division bro we already had xbox and playstation and now we got woke politics on top of it <laughs> i don't know but i mean if that's the way the xbox chooses to go then i won't be buying all of their games anymore i won't buy them if, they, if they're gonna, if they're just gonna start cranking out crap just to just to get like some marks i'm not gonna buy that garbage yeah, dude, they should fire her immediately. Fire her immediately and get rid of all the blue hair people. Like, do it. Just get rid of them and, and like, you want, you know, you got Phil Spencer out here talking about we need more growth and it's like, dude, you're not going to grow shit with this woke crap. You're, you're not going to grow anything with your, with your marketing lead out there, you know, being racist against white people. Like, how are you going to do that? Now, now you got people like me that are thinking like, man, well, I ain't going to buy half that crap. I mean, if you're forcing, like, characters into games, dude, just to force them in there, uh, they, they better have a damn good... They better be written very well. I don't want I don't want it to be a crutch. I don't want to hear about the racism shit. I don't want to hear about any of that crap. I want a good, solid character that has a good, solid story that belongs in that game. You know what I mean? Like, I want a banger. They talk about, it costs us $300 million to make this freaking woke crap. Well, yeah, dude, you got all the blue air people that need that need breaks all the time. Yeah, dude, I mean, I can go back on PC now. Michael, what's up, my dude? Thank you, buddy. I can go back on PC, bro, and I can buy like all of these PS1 or like these PS uh, like like PlayStation um the PlayStation 3 forward games, man, and they still look incredible and they play way good at like way high frame rates so it's like yeah dude there's there's an untapped potential on pc bro if you're sick and tired of the whole woke crap just get on pc and buy old games man you don't even need like a super powerful pc to run these older games man like dude i can yeah 40 90 money <clears throat> we're almost there we only need about ten thousand dollars more to get a 40 90 <clears throat> we're working on it though you know, Mike, I, dude, I don't think, let me be, let me be honest with you guys. Let me be honest with you guys. I don't think I'll ever shoot for the top of like PC hardware. I, I just, to me, like with a 4090, like right now, I mean, it's, it's pretty much overkill for a lot of stuff, especially if you're gaming on 1440p, 4k, maybe it would make more sense, but I don't have a 4k I don't have a 4K monitor and I'm not really interested in getting one just yet. I'm, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about getting a 4K monitor, but I, I just, I don't know, man. If I go top end, then everything beneath it is trash. You know what I mean? And that was the whole reason I didn't want to go really high in the PC space is because I didn't want to start looking down on my consoles because I still love my PlayStation and my Xbox, but let's, let's be fair. I haven't covered anything on those except for the exclusive games that are coming to PlayStation 5 that are essentially forcing me to play those on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, Xbox needs some exclusives that, that'll force me to play my Xbox again. I'm telling you guys, I'm not, I'm not saying that you should run out and switch to PC because yes... With PC, you, you, you're going to have, like, other problems. But at the end of the day, man, I think that a lot of that stuff, you would find a way to... I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, if the, I don't know if the means justify the ends. 
used gpu on steam is the rtx 3060 not high end yeah dude 4090 and 7900 xtx bro those are like high end guys that's why i bought a 7600 xt is so so we could look at that man so that we could so that we could find a way to get people to potentially switch and not break the bank and still get you know a better experience than what they're getting right now because let's let's face it dude most games are going to play better at a minimum of 60 frames a second. It's just going to be a little bit better experience. It's going to be better. You're going to have better movement. You're going to have better, you know, physics. You're going to have better overall visuals because the, the screen's going to be more stable. It's not really the politics. Games are just boring in general compared to previous gens. Yeah. And I've, you know, I've, this gaming survivor, I've actually, I've actually come to that realization too because so some of them games on like ps3 xbox 360 generation and forward i remember playing those and they and they didn't feel good you know what i mean they like they didn't feel that great but when you play them on pc at a really high frame rate oh it changes the experience what happened to the game leisure suit larry i have no idea Oh, no 8K for me, Mr. Glass. No. Um, if they put Steam on Xbox, bro, that would be the best that would be the best way for forward for Xbox. At this point, dude, if they're not gonna do exclusives anymore and they're not gonna that's that's the only thing that's gonna save their console business is if they make it so you can do Steam on Xbox. And they need to make that backward compatible. It needs to come to Series X and S. Um, because there's a lot of games, like trust me, man, like that Series S would be able to run games better than a Steam Deck better than a rog ally so yeah you should they should make that a possibility and their ob game have made gaming boring oh yeah oh absolutely fabio absolutely man i i, I love dragon's dogma too i think it's an incredible game i think it's an incredible game <coughs> I, I i played i played for I played for a good five or six hours yesterday, man. Just playing that. Um, I, I was I was playing that. Let me see. I I pumped in another Dragon's Dogma two. Yeah, twenty three. I had like fifteen hours or fourteen something, fourteen point nine, and I made it all the way up to twenty three point five hours. So I played that for eight hours yesterday. Sheesh! I played for eight hours yesterday. <laughs> I, I literally played that game for eight hours yesterday i was like oh my gosh dude what happened to the freaking time i was I, I i love that game dude i think it's incredible so i got all the way to the last boss on dragon's dogma 2 but i'm so underpowered to fight him bro and my pawns you know i, I so i went back I loaded to a save before that and and now I've went back and just started uh and just started moving forward again. I just I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go back and start exploring the world and exploring the map. I already know what my my end my end game looks like. So, I'm actually happy that it let me get to that point and see what the challenge is because now I get to go back and I get to really start working on my character, my build and stuff. Dragon's Dog was insanely good. It is It is a little bit... I mean, I don't think it's like super hard. It's not like Dark Souls hard or anything, but it, it is a challenging game with a lot of secrets and a lot of lore and a lot of... There's a lot of underlying systems in that game, bro. Like when you fight like a griffin or something and you get him into the drink and into the water and it, and, it, and it kills him too. That kind of stuff is cool, man. Like you can use the environment. It, it's, it's really cool, man. I, I I mean like you can you can like cheese some of the monsters too. Just have your your pawns fight them. Yeah, I do kind of think movie games have 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 a uh, have skewed. Get new pawns. Keep falling into ravines like morons. I haven't had one. I haven't had one pawn follow me yet. I've had I've had the I've had the little freaking uh, harpies pick them up and throw them in the water though that sucks. I lost a good pawn that way. Retro games, yep. Retro games are good, man. You just get away from all the garbage these days that they're putting out. Hellblade, I'm just gonna I'm, I was gonna buy it, but I'm just gonna play that on Game Pass, dude.
What do you want, Scam Likely? Scam Likely. <clears throat> I did get a copy of, um, um, what was it? Um, IO Interactive uh, provided a review key for um, for Hitman Hitman on PC, which is pretty cool, man. I'll be I'll be making a couple videos for that for you guys, dude. I love I love games like Hitman too. You can play Hitman, bro. You can get literally all three games, all of the newer games, for for a good low price, dude. You get one, two, and three with tons of content. Play a game like that, bro. Play Hitman. <laughs> It doesn't got any of that dumb wokeness in it. Hell divers like game. Um well I don't know. Hell divers, I don't really care much for hell divers. I, I don't care for it, but I could see how it could be a very fun game. Oh yeah, Forbidden West does have a lot of talking scenes. Actually, going back through it, dude, I've I've actually started to pick up more on like how woke that game actually is, dude. It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> it's actually pretty bad, dude. Like all the guys in that game are like weak, pathetic fools, and like Aloy's like this cocky freaking yeah, dude. I don't know why I didn't catch it at first. You know, maybe because I liked Aloy so much from the first game. <laughs> and already kind of thought she was like cool and shit and then now in this game it's just like now you can see it now i can see it after going back through it again how she like talks to these uh, you know just how like aaron's kind of a kind of a doofus and he's all like just a oh i guess you don't need like a winnie the pooh dude and stuff and i'm like dang man you know they really did want to make these guys as weak as possible it's all it's almost like aaron's like this uh Seth Rogen, dude, man. Halo Infinite's a dead slog of old ideas. Rather play Halo 3. You caved and got Dragon's Dogma? Nice. It's just okay. Glad it's not like Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, dude, how far are you into it, Sanchez? Dude, Dragon's Dogma gets way better. Way better, man. That, that game is pretty epic. I, I love it, dude. I love it. Halo 4 had an awesome campaign. Nice. Bungie Halo was great. 343 Halo was a constant decline. Halo 3, but there, there is no one that plays Halo Master Chief Collection anymore since the game is dead. You know what the funny thing is, is uh I was on the I was on the Xbox store the other day on PC looking at my library. And um Yep, it's still there, dude. It looks like Halo 5 is going to be coming to PC. It looks like Halo 5 is going to be coming to PC. I, I'll play that again on PC. Waiting for the PlayStation Secret Showcase. It ain't coming. Play all Halos. Well, as soon as Xbox dies, Shadow, then you can play, pay a lot of money for that PlayStation stuff. Play all the Halos. Love all the Halo campaigns. I've been more aliens in Halo 4. It has a higher player count than Infinite. Same player count as Infinite, huh? That's crazy. Which means both games are dead. <laughs> they both died and went to heaven. I, you know, Halo Five coming to PC, bro. That would actually, I, I think that would, um, if they actually do like upgrades and stuff for it, that'd be cool. <laughs> the more games that that um, Microsoft can put on to put on the PC and stuff, like I'm not, I'm not, I'll never give up on Xbox or PlayStation, but at in today's freaking 
in today's world, man, like, you gotta understand, dude, that the woke people are the ones that are making our video games now. They have infested gaming so hard that it's not even funny. And, and I think they all go in there, like, with this idea of, like, yeah, man, we're gonna, we're gonna make cool games and stuff. And then they get in there, and then, and then, like, one bad egg just spoils a whole bunch, you know what I mean? He's Xbox woke. I know, dude. You got a whole bunch of shadows in the freaking gaming industry making games, bro. <clears throat> I mean, it's okay. Like, I miss I miss it a lot in some games too, guys. Because either the gameplay is really fun or, or like, the, the visuals are, like, really good and I'm just not paying attention to it at, f at first, you know? some Dude, I've played, like, whole games and completely can't remember any of the story because, like, the other, the other parts of the game were so cool. Um, and then, and then come to find out like, <laughs> like, like, uh, um, what is it? <laughs> and then come to find out suicide squad, super woke. <laughs> I actually had fun playing that dude. So I don't really care. I don't feel like I wasted my money. Yeah. I think the 360 gen, the only, the only problem I have with the 360 gen was like the, the overuse of like that grayscale ugly freaking like realistic graphics that that don't hold up that well <clears throat> um yeah send it on over i think i honestly think that forza horizon 5 should go to playstation i do i i, I absolutely do i was playing that today and i was like gosh this game is so beautiful Nobody does woke like woke station. <laughs> Hello every day. Seconds to get into a match. Are they on PC? Can you play one through three on PC, Matt? If we could play one through three on PC, I think I would play it. $70 fun. Looks fun, just not... Yeah, dude, it's not $70 fun. I don't have a problem that I paid for it. I wish I... I you know, dude, I have that... I, I have this thing, man, where I just buy everything that's new when it comes out. I'm going to sell my PS5 and go to Las Vegas and experience some real curvy women. <laughs> Any buyers? I know. <clears throat> oh, you used an emulator? Yeah. I don't do the emulators, man. It's just too much... Too much fuckery for me. Doesn't really play or understand Halo. Remastered on Xbox. Well, I know they've been remastered on Xbox, but I want them on PC now. I want them to do a Marcus Finks collection for PC. <clears throat> In Unreal Engine 5, rebuild the whole game Oh, yeah, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, huh? Let me see if it's on. Let me see if it's on there. Let me see if it's in my library. Because I own it. No, I got four and five, man. What the freak? Cloud Gaming Game Pass. Gears Tactics 4. No, it's only giving me Gears 5 and Gears 4 and the Tactics game. That's it. Psst, that sucks. That's trash. Someone gave Dragon's Dogma 2 a 30 on Metacritic? Oh. Poor Bebez. Ghost of Tsushima. Yes. Tushima. 
<laughs> Ghost, Ghost Tushima, <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. Yes, that game's gonna be good. Ah, uh, wait. You hate woke, but you buy and love the games. Lol. I know it's weird. Sometimes it goes right over my head. Shadow. Gears Four is awesome. Yeah, I know, I know, I know Shadow likes Xbox. He just wants to be... What's up, Mons? How's it going, buddy? I think, dude, I don't know. I think everybody talks crap about video, about each console, but deep down inside, they really love them both. Um, I think Death Stranding 2 is coming out in 2025, is what they said. Your eggs yesterday... Oh man, it's the last break. Uh, when did you first get into gaming? I got into gaming at five years old, bro. That was the first time I on a regular Nintendo Entertainment System. I played Mario, and I was like, "Mom, I'm hooked." <laughs> You're still here, huh? <laughs> I think uh, honestly, guys, I went through all my videos, my my last recent videos before that, and I think I think it was just YouTube getting rid of bots. Because they do that every once in a while. It's just this is the first time that that I've had that big of a drop in, in like, subscribers. I was like, wow, dude. Because normally people don't unsubscribe unless they absolutely hate the way you're, the, the direction your channel's going. So I think it was just YouTube getting rid of bots. PS5 Pro still won't be able to run Dragon's Dogma 2 at 60 FPS since the game needs it. Yeah, you're right. Not even PS5 Pro is going to save it. Kind of loving it. Dragon's Dogma 2 is awesome, Mons. Oh, dude, I got all the way to the I, I got all the way to the end of the game, bro, and and I'm like so underpowered that I I was I mean, I could probably beat him if I like really really try. And I try to dodge everything and run away from him and not get greedy and play it like a Souls game. Maybe I could do it, but I don't know, man. I just want to hack and slash him up. 85. Yeah, I got into gaming at 85. Performance of Dragon's Dogma 2 on PS5. I've been loving it. Yeah, it's a good game, man. Dragon's Dogma is awesome, man. It, it just fell. It just Dragon's Dogma 2 just happened to hit the hate machine, bro. You got microtransactions in it. Dude, I haven't bought one microtransaction. I got 23 hours in it. And I'm like, dude, why would I buy one? <laughs> why would I buy one? I did I did see a I did see a pawn that I wanted to buy, and I was like, maybe I buy the pawn, but no. <clears throat> yeah. Well, see, I think that's just kind of where it is, man. Like some, some, sometime in your life, you're going to have that, that, that time where you just don't get a lot of time to play games. And for me, that was the 360 PlayStation three generation. I, that, I just didn't have as much time during that generation to play. My kids were younger. I was going to school, I was working, all of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so I just didn't have the time that I have now. Pro is apparently saying no Sony game will be allowed on their system unless it's 4K 60. Yeah, maybe. They won't be able to they won't be able to say their PS5 Pro enhanced unless they they offer the stuff that PlayStation wants to push. I don't know why anybody has high hopes for a PS5 Pro. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I, I want to hear all these dudes when they when when Grand Theft Auto 6 launches, everybody that complained about the, 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 the microtransactions on Dragon's Dogma 2, they should probably not buy that game because it is going to, yeah, that's going to be bad for them. Uh, it, every single one of them clickbait YouTube and freaking e-beggars are going to be, wait, where's my e-beggar sign? I got to have my e-beggar sign up. Sorry, guys. I almost went a whole show without freaking having the e-beggar sign up. Could you believe that if we didn't have that? 
patches have you had on PC? No, um, just one. Just one so far. I think we just got one. Now we can do a new game if you want. You can do a new game. But I, there's no reason to do a new game. Dragon's Dogma is built to play for a long time. It, it's built to play for a long time. Like, I've been, I've been doing a lot more exploring <clears throat> after I got to the dragon. And I was like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going back to the first area. And now I'm going to explore the first area a lot. I'm going to explore everything. Oh, I know they're going to buy it. Oh, I gotta have my e-beggar sign, man. <sighs> gotta get them does. Gotta get the donations. Just put a dollar in the cup, my friends. Just put a dollar in the cup. Only the resolution and graphics settings will be better on the PS5 Pro, yeah? I'm going to trade my PS5 Pro, my PS5 for a Pro when it comes out. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep my PS5. I'll probably just and give it to one of the kids i probably will end up buying a ps5 pro um I'll, I'll end up buying the new xbox too if they if they're bringing that white one out and it's got like two terabyte hard drive and it's all digital i will bu I'll, I'll buy one i will buy one because <coughs> then and then i'll just swap my wife out for the series s that she's got i'll just give her the series x the chat's cheap they won't donate then you donate dude come on my little pony start start digging deep man dig deep the first order of ceo today is playstation day and date pc starts with our next game work hard people <laughs> i need my profit margins to go up <laughs> they do man i i i think that they should man them them games need to come day and date uh, PlayStation needs to put freaking Steam on the PS5 too. Uh, they need to hurry up and get me my adapter so I can use my PSVR 2 on PC. Um, I need that immediately. Actually, I'll pay it. There's talk of that thing being anywhere from 50 to 150 bucks. I would gladly pay pay that money to play all of my racing games with the PSVR 2. I, I, I yeah, no questions asked. Per second. <laughs> 30 frames a second, man. You know, I hear I hear a lot of people complain about 30 frames per second. But then when I talk about PC, these guys, the same people come at me like, you, why don't you talk about Xbox and stuff anymore? And I'm like, come on, guys. Come on, man. Like, we all came into this generation expecting 60 frames per second. These consoles are not delivering that. So the play, the PC does. That's like the bare minimum with the PC, dude. It's like you you get 60 frames a second, bro. You get more. You get more. You get way more freaking tools on your PC to do what you want to do. And now you can play Xbox and PlayStation games on your PC. Does it even make sense to buy a console anymore sometimes? You know what I mean? Like you have to ask yourself that. And everybody's going to be at a different point in their life um, where, where like PC might not make sense. But, dude, PC is so freeing. It really is. And, and I think that's why I think that's why a lot of the PC guys like come down on the console gamers over on like Twitter and stuff and call them like peasants and, and, and stuff like that is because if, if you haven't if you haven't been to Twitter lately, bro, or YouTube and listen to like all of us grown men, doing console wars bro and then you got like the pc guys that are like what are you guys talking about man you get like medium textures at 30 frames per second dude and and like on on like on like low-end hardware like the 7600 xt you can run these games at like 4k 60 bro and it's just it's just funny man it really is so funny <laughs> especially when you got like the real shadow right here talking about like yeah pc can five <clears throat> nobody has more money than you you live with your mom still 3x more powerful than a ps5 no i you, you know what honestly guys it doesn't really matter how many teraflops you have i i know that like you hear this a long time a lot of times it doesn't matter how many teraflops you have. Once you hit like a certain like resolution or or video or or visual quality, all the more power in the world isn't going to do nothing for your frame rate. 
it, it, it's it's <laughs> it's crazy man like it doesn't matter how much how like if your cpu is your bottleneck your cpu is your bottleneck it's gonna hold you back got him Forty percent faster than a PS5, so you're looking at like, dude, you're really looking at like sixty. What is it like? Seventy seven seventy seven hundred XT, maybe seventy eight hundred XT power, but you're not gonna. You might not even have the power. The PSU, like the power supply unit, is still gonna have to be able to push that to get that. And if it's RDNA three. RX 6800 maybe ish I mean from what they're saying dude like a 7800 XT um if they can get like 7800 XT power in there it's it's not going to be like the full power but it will be it will be close like it will be close physicals like my oh my precious <laughs> Uh, would make a lot of people would make a lot of money if they convinced everybody to go to PC and dump the consoles. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> That's the funny thing, man. It's like if you go if you go PC, bro. Like honestly, the biggest selling point for me lately for PC is like being able to play some of them old games. Like, dude, buying buying freaking Grid Two on PC, absolutely incredible, man. I freaking love that game. But if you remember when it came out. It was what 30 frames per second at like 720p ish and it, it yeah dude looking at that game now with like pristine crisp graphics wow dude it blows your freaking socks off man like it's so incredible playing that at like ma like 160 frames a second PC PC pricing is never going to come down bro it's it's not going to come down it it would be nice if it did but you're, you're going to have to rely. I mean, honestly, the, the quickest way to get people into the PC market is if Xbox makes it, you know, makes a more powerful console and allows Steam and Epic Game Store on the Xbox platform. I think you'd get a much better pickup because once people get in there with the power of their Xbox and they see exactly what it can do on these games, that's going to change their mind. They're going to be like, OK, yeah, I definitely want PC I, I want this. I want this experience. <clears throat> well, maybe, you know, gaming survivor, maybe, maybe it's only a hobby because, because it's 500 bucks, but once you go PC, then it's, then it's a different experience, dude. It's completely different. Playing games on PC is significantly um better than playing on console i can afford a high-end pc i don't need it yeah ps4 is 1.8 teraflops and we have consoles 10.3 and 12 teraflops but games do not yeah they're not even that much they're, they're not even better you know i i get what you're saying bro we've got we've got it we've got double the console power from the last generation bro and in playstation's case even more and like we're still and, and now and now games are i'm not gonna say they look worse because they do look better but they look better but they also look worse at the same time if that makes sense like you get spider-man with that lower resolution bro and like the yeah you know what i mean like spider-man 2 arguably doesn't look as good as spider-man 1 remastered you know what i mean like like one of them clearly looks better one of them looks sharper and crisper and the other one looks um softer and you know what i mean like i'm not i like spider-man 2 i like the way it looks it's not too bad um but when that game comes to PC, you're going to see like, like horizon forbidden West, bro. Horizon forbidden freaking West on the PC. PC helps cut out the wokeness. Yeah, exactly. Dude, PC, you can get rid of the wokeness by just buying old games, bro. <laughs> uh, 
when the Series X came out, all they talked about was having more T-flops. Yeah, you're right. They do. Bought a gaming laptop with a 3050 Ti, and it gave me a taste, so I upgraded to a desktop. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, fizz. That 6750 XT with its 12 gigs of RAM is definitely more powerful than like your ps5 and your series x if you put that on like a 1440p monitor or even a 1080p monitor you're gonna it's gonna blow your mind every freaking time bro like you'll you won't even you won't even realize that you're on because 1080p ultra settings over 60 frames a second is gonna look better than than the consoles with their medium settings at 4k <laughs> Sony bought Bungie and Shadow stupidly thought he was getting Halo on PlayStation. <laughs> I just I just wait for Spider-Man 2 remastered. <laughs> it will look amazing. I know uh, Spider-Man 2 remastered on the PC, bro. It shouldn't be too much longer. Dual shader instructions, which means it doubles the number with with no more performance, which means that 33 T-flops are equal to 16.5. Yeah. Passed my 6700 XT to my brother, now using a 4080 Super. Awesome, bro. Awesome. <clears throat> I, I'm i liking this 4070 Super that I got right now. I, I bought this 4070 Super, and um, I've been using it now. This uh, Tomorrow will be two weeks. And I haven't, I haven't, I haven't like, I haven't had the urge to pull it out one time. Like I'm, I'm forcing myself to get better on the Nvidia. I am because obviously, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people out there that like Nvidia and it doesn't do me any good to sit and bash Nvidia or, you know, do anything like that. But AMD is where my heart's at. My, my, uh, my AMD experience is where my heart's at, but I, I, I don't have a problem using the Nvidia. I can, we can do Nvidia all day long. I don't know what that a kid is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Playing 1080p high yeah, exactly, dude. 1080p high re refresh rate, bro. Oh man, it's so good. If you do upgrade to a 1440p monitor, Mr. or or Fizz, I would suggest the 7800 XT. I think that card is an absolute beast and it will last you a long time. I do. I, I I don't necessarily always run into VRAM limits with the 12 gigs of the 4070, but there are some games that if you want to crank up to ultra, you you are gonna have some some of that. But not everything. There's there's only a few. There's only a few so far. And then sometimes when like newer games come out, they'll be unoptimized, so they'll use more more things. But you know, Nvidia is working on being able to optimize VRAM to where they can where they can do that. But it's gonna take a while. And from what I've seen, it's only on like video files. Super resolution and it kills 1440p. Can't wait for a proper 1440p monitor. I would go with IPS, bro, or or OLED. I love my IPS 1440p monitors. They look incredible. Heavy games suck. Uh, I love RTX video super resolution and HDR on OLED is awesome. Yeah, it, it does look incredible, man. I had to buy a, I had to buy a new HDMI cable just so that my 4070 Super would would work on my on my TV. AI processors that generate the image into 4k or higher quality you can even tell the difference from 1080p or 1440p resolution yeah um if you got a good tv um if you got a good not all tvs have good upscalers but some of them have great upscalers my 6900 xt is my linux gpu that i use comparing the 4080 super to 7900 xtx um no Donations on this channel are not big enough for me to to be buying those those higher those higher end cards. Um, I I my my uh my uh my channel needs to start paying for itself. <laughs> I've spent I, I I bought where I'm where I'm comfortable at at fourteen uh, on my fourteen forty p monitor the mid range setup. So <clears throat> I'm not ruling it out, but. Yeah, dude, I'm not I'm not interested in buying those right now. 300 and nothing could touch the 6700 XT for 300 Nvidia options. Oh yeah, dude, you're you're going to spend a lot more for Nvidia 
AMD is a good bang for your buck, bro. Way good bang for your buck, and you will get you'll you'll get better longevity out of the AMD product, man. You you gotta you gotta kind of have the money to 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 be an Nvidia to have an Nvidia build, or you have to be one hundred percent committed to PC. You know what I mean? Like you have to be committed to PC, and you're gonna have to like you know if you want to save money, you're gonna have to use your card for two years, sell it upgrade sell it upgrade stuff like that which is which isn't bad i mean it's possible it's funny that we play spider-man games as spider-man yet we have stupid sections with mary jane and the dead <laughs> extra resources could have been used to improve the game oh yeah you're you're absolutely right i think 7800 xt um will probably be right around 450 bucks pretty soon fizz and I think that's a fair price for that card. I think that's a really good price for that card, actually. Platinums for the for the two TLU games. <laughs> 240 hertz OLED. Yeah, see, those are those are nice. I was I, that was the one I was thinking about getting, but that's only a 27 inch monitor. Um, and I think they have a 32 inch one now that's 4K that does 4K and 1080p. It, I'm I'm kind of looking at that one, and I'm also kind of looking at the new MSI's. I just haven't decided if I want to buy 4K just yet. Because if I buy 4K, then I got to upgrade to 4080 or 7900 XTX. I mean, I can do it with my 7900 XT, but Ark Survival Ascended just dropped on PC Game Pass Frog. Oh, nice! I already, dude, I bought it the day it launched. And definitely download it. It was it was pretty it was pretty uh, broken at launch though. Five percent of the Last of Us Two completed probably. Curved monitors are the new wave. I don't know if I care about curved monitors. I might. I'm yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The more you spend, the more you save. I know. <laughs> Five five sixty after tags. Arthur wore it better than Mary Jane. I know. Uh. <laughs> Last of Us One is millions times better than Woke of Us Two. Three hundred sixty. Oh, nice. Sixty eight hundred X. Well, sixty eight hundred is a good card. Sixty eight hundred XT is a good card too. 79 GRE, yeah. Welcome to the channel. Oh gosh, dude, I can't say that. Whoa. But thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, let me see. I got to get closer to read that. Bartolome. Uh, I'm just going to call you Bart. Sorry, brother. Racing from home. What's up, buddy? Isn't PS also working with Sweet... Yep, they're all working with Sweet Wokey Inc., bro. All of them, man. And it's getting annoying. But you know what? Racing from home, brother. <clears throat> it's it's not that they're working with these companies. It's that is who's making our games now, bro. <clears throat> it's not... It's not. It doesn't matter if they hire the Sweet Baby Inc. or whatever. If, if half of the studios think like Sweet Baby Inc., bro, no matter what, that stuff's coming to your game, bro. That stuff's coming to your games. But it's kind of like a union thing where everybody just scratches each other's back. Uh, the XFX, yep. I, the, I rock all XFX. All my cards fizz, all three of them. The uh, 7600 XT, 7800 XT, and 7900 XT. Yeah, those those uh, I I have all of those. But, yeah, it pisses everybody off, bro. But those are the people that are making our games now, man. If you want good games, you got to buy from the Polish developers, bro. Our our uh, fifty eighty RTX will come out probably the end of the probably the end of this year. I think I think forty I think fifty ninety and fifty eighty will be out by the end by December. I I would say December if if fifty eighty okay. If the 5080 launches and it's at a thousand dollars, I will try to get a reference, or I'll try to get a Founders Edition. 
if it's a thousand bucks, dude, but I'm not going to do the whole $1,200 or any of that crap. If it's a thousand bucks, I will buy it. We'll wait, if they come down in price, uh, cut, cut on the 68, 6,000 series was too good to pass up since they're clearance now 300. I think there's going to be a lot of, I think there's going to be a, I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of AMD stock out there, but guys don't pass up AMD. Don't pass up AMD. They are good. Like the 7,800 XT versus my 4070 super. Like that is, they're good, man. Like they are just as good. There's just, a, there's as many reasons to buy a freaking an AMD card as there are an Nvidia card. They are getting much better. They them into games is annoying. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Formula Four want to upgrade to the seventy nine hundred XTX. I don't know. Maybe four hundred bucks. I would. I would start at four hundred bucks, bro. Always start at four hundred dollars. I would start at four hundred dollars. The, the woke stuff in video games is just getting annoying, bro. But those are the people that are making our games now. Subsidi a, a subsidiary to put it in in the U.S. at least. It's not a sub. It's it's not a subsidy. It's a um. It's something like um uh, like like investors want it or so. I don't know. Like they they make them do that for for uh funding or something. I don't know. There's so many different reasons, but. But if you if you really think about it, man, like their social justice credit score, man, stupid. Why would I buy and support the games? Because I don't want to just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. FSR three point one is definitely going to change the. Uh, if it's really going to be as good as is they're showing off in that in that Ratchet and Clank video, dude, FSR three point one is going to be good. PS5 Pro versus my 7800 XT. My 7800 XT is still going to win. 7900 GRE, if it's not much more. Yeah, 7900 GRE is actually a pretty potent card. But I got a press release where it is saying that since 2019, Xbox was working internally with these DEIBS, and now there are, and now they are opening up more. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, Xbox is on board with that crap too, man. That's why I'm saying, dude, everybody just needs to go to PC and stop fanboying for, for these consoles. Don't fanboy for the consoles anymore, man, because it's just going to make every one of us look like, like idiots, bro. Um, if they want to put that stuff in their game, whatever, play it on Game Pass, bro. That, that, that if it, it ain't worth buying, it ain't worth buying. If it, if that's what it is, I'm I'm still kind of bitter about buying freaking Banishers, Ghosts of New Eng of of New Eden because it's, <clears throat> dude, that was terrible. ESG, ESG, yep. The gaming industry is already collapsing. It is, it is falling apart, man. Yep, they're going to be just like Hollywood movies, not being able to freaking put people in the seats because nobody cares about that crap. Nobody cares. Uh, they should change RE5 in the remake because, oh gosh, no, nope, leave it the same, dude. I mean, so they're okay with they're okay with them going to, what was it, like Central America for Resident Evil 4. Like you're, 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 uh, like basically I, I think wasn't it? Yeah. Like the, like Hispanic, they're Hispanic in freaking resident evil four. They're cool with that, but they, they don't want, you know, like the, the, uh, the African part. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it, man. It's a, it's a, it's a fictional video game. Hey, what's up? Diablo Mozart, Diablo Mozart. As far as supporting woke games, I've gone back to my 360. Exactly. I've just been buying 360 games on my PC, bro. I bought I bought Thief. I bought freaking Let me let me let me tell you the ones I bought. <laughs> let me pull up my Steam here. So I've gotten just recently I bought some uh some Dirt 3, some uh 
some grid two. I also got, oh gosh, where is it? I bought, I, dude, I've been buying like some of these older games, man, like a lot lately. I got some, all those off ray tracing in there, so they're not going to be in there. Some Arma 3, we got Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, let's see what else, if we keep going down here. Uh, Blood Rain 2, I've got, um, what else? Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadows um, and Lords of Shadows 2. Um, do some Deus Ex Mankind. We got some. So I bought Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I'm I'm just going back and playing a lot of these older games, dude, because they they look incredible on freaking PC, man. They look so good, so good, and they play so much better than I ever remembered them. I was like, dude, I'm blown away at some of these. Um, dude, I bought that South Park. I bought Thief, Titanfall Two. Yeah, I I I I recommend seriously getting on PC <clears throat> and buying some of these games. Before you can't. I'm moving to PC. Done with Xbox. <laughs> nice. Bro, if you move to if you move to PC, then you get to play cool games like uh <laughs> Settle Course of Competizione and Nord Life, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or you have to wait forever for it to come to Xbox. And PlayStation. Games need woke need a woke slider. I know, huh? <laughs> Can we just slide that stuff off? <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? We should we should find a way to start doing our own little rating system for them. What's up, Jedi Knight? Test Drive Unlimited One and Two. It's like Forza. Um, you got that on PC? Test Drive Unlimited Two PC. Yeah, dude, they're trying to sell that for freaking $496. That's what I'm talking about, man. I wish I would have had PC a long time ago, bro, because then I would have had those games. And the racing games are the harder ones to get because the because the licenses for the cars and stuff go they 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 go up, so you can't get them anymore. Oh, on your 360. Gosh, I'm happy with PS5 and my LG Evo OLED <laughs> content. I have anything against PC, just can't afford one. Well, if you got rid of that OLED C3 and that PlayStation 5, you could have bought a freaking beast PC. No, I'm just joking. And a cheap 1440p monitor. <laughs> GPU tech will keep improving or will it stagnate in the near future? Um, I think it'll keep improving, but at the same time, it's it's not the GPU that we need for the tech to improve. It's the the gaming engines. The gaming engines are still pretty pretty primitive. I kind of wish I had access to a 360. I might buy one. And actually, I don't know. I'll just keep trying to find these games. I might just buy some of those freaking older test drive games on on PC, man. Wish I could actually get a key for, you know, a, a fair price. In the fake fight, just saying, oh yeah, of course he's going to knock Jake Paul out, dude. I'll be surprised if he even makes it through the first for the first through the first freaking uh, 360 to the blades interface. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Uh, 
I'm actually thinking about paying for uh, <clears throat> for Streamlabs Premium so I can like stream straight to Twitter at the same time. You gave fifteen dollars for one and twenty for thought that was pricey. Oh yeah, dude, they want like four hundred and something dollars on on Aniba for that. Well, on PC, it's it's a lot harder. To, like those those codes, bro. Mike Tyson's still a minister. It will be rigged, I reckon. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna be like Mike Tyson. At least let him survive three rounds. Because you know Mike Tyson probably knock him out and freaking the first one. I bought a copy of The Crew 2. It did not work. It said I had server issues. Will that game get an update? Um, Just turn the internet off and try it again. Oh, wait. No, that game. Yeah, that game. <clears throat> no, Ubisoft has problems every once in a while with their servers. It should work. Just put it. Just try it again in a day or two. It should work. Mike Tyson is definitely still a monster, dude. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to fight him. Um if it's anything like if it's anything like the last update next month. It should be about 30 days. They've been getting a lot better at putting them out a lot quicker. I, I, yeah, you guys are going to love the freaking you guys are going to love it when, when Nordschleife comes to... And it was only like 13 bucks, so it's not even that big of a deal. Two-minute rounds. 16-ounce gloves. <laughs> They're like, Mike Tyson has to wear 16-ounce gloves. Jake Paul is a smart guy. So many pro boxers are broke. But he is making money fighting. Yeah. <clears throat> um just the first crew is an offline yeah they do need an offline mode for sure i think they do those are those are cool maps dude to to lose out on that map it would really suck but they did sunset the first game the second one you can still play well, you should be able to. You should still be able to play the second game. I'll have to download it. I think I've got Ubisoft. Uh, I think I got Ubisoft Plus. Let's see. Let's see if we got some Ubisoft Plus. Why does that look all blurry? Is the stream in 4K today, guys? Okay, yeah, it is. I was like looking at the little thing and it's all blurry. I'm like, what the freak? Did I really make it? Come on, Ubisoft. Um, I do on, I do on, um, uh, what's it called? Ubisoft plus. I didn't buy one. I want to experience VR now with a decent PC. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. Let me see. Or wait, Ubisoft plus. I think I got my Ubisoft plus paid up. going full woke apparently um i wouldn't doubt it the guys that used to write grand theft auto aren't there anymore watch gta 6 be just like saints row dude okay ubisoft is taking time i their their freaking thing is so dumb sometimes not playing them because there is no point when they turn the server off your progress is gone yep absolutely I don't have the crew too, man. What's the latest AMD? 
What's the latest with AMD? You think they can catch up to NVIDIA tech? Um, no. They're still, they're, I, I don't know. Possibly. And by the time AMD catches up, NVIDIA will have some other new thing they're trying to sell you. Don't even look that impressive. <laughs> I mean, they look all right. I mean, they definitely look better than what F uh, Grand Theft Auto V was. That's for sure. I just think it's going to be funny, dude. When a game comes out and it's like woke trash. I mean, it didn't look like it was going to be woke trash. It still looked pretty so out of touch with these days devs these days yes they are definitely out of touch with what gamers want for sure i mean you might be you know we might be going back to the to the good old days of getting all of our games from japan and everywhere else man because the the american developers have gone nuts bro they have absolutely gone nuts i don't know i just i kind of feel like there's an attack on society bro like I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like we've got a ton of DLC day one. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, they want to sell that for as much money as they can. <clears throat> I would say you could probably expect it to be semi woke. Is with ray tracing. Mm. Yeah, I'm. I I do like, I do like frame generation on some things, but not on everything. Some things I don't need it sometimes, but sometimes I do. I do like to use it. Like with ray tracing, with the forty seventy, you kind of have to use it on certain games, which which isn't bad. Like, when you want to play something like uh, Hogwarts Legacy or something, you know, the, the frame generation does help with the CPU a little bit. It, like, frees it up, lets the GPU render frames so the CPU can catch up and stuff like that. So, so it does help, I mean, depending on the game. I mean, is it the future of gaming? I don't think so, but... If you want like way higher refresh, but I don't, once you get to a certain point with refresh rate, then you just, it's kind of diminishing returns too. Alan Wake 2, yeah, definitely need the frame gen for that game. If you want to play that on, at least on the 4070 Super. Maybe if a 4080 or something, you'd probably be able to get better, better performance out of that. But that path tracing is pretty heavy, dude. It like destroys, it destroys your performance, man. It actually absolutely destroys your performance. I mean... There's a reason, guys, why I started doing a lot more of the PC stuff. And and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you guys why. Because I was spending a lot of money on video games. And when you're a small channel like mine, bro, and you've got like all of them bigger channels that are always going against the games and just trashing them and stuff like that, <clears throat> it's kind of a waste of money to, to sit and just cover games. Because those guys are going to trash them, and then I got to deal with all the people coming and telling me how trash the game is. You stop and e begging with Camus, those videos are not worth the view, in my opinion. What are you talking about? Camus sent me that C5, asked me to do 20 videos for it. I agreed to it. I said I would do 20 videos to help him show it off. I did my 20 videos. I'm done with it. I gave it to my son in law. Now he gets to play it and be happy. The C5 is not a bad will at all. I mean, actually, I, I I dare you to find a better option in that price range than the C5. Seriously. Um, you're going to get a belt-driven will, or you're going to get a Logitech or something like that, or the PXN for 250 bucks. 
you can get a direct drive wheel that is very good for 250 bucks. So if you can find a better deal than that, I, I would like to see you do it. It's not a bad wheel setup, but I've got better wheels, so I I don't use it, and it's a little bit small for me, so I I don't use I don't use it. But yeah, dude, covering it for them, they they would like to sell some of those, and and I can see why. You know, it's the best for the price range. That is the best on the market. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're not getting any better than that. 60 and 120 fps is great for me ray tracing is nice but i don't think it justifies the performance hit no not 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 at all have you noticed all the big channels have the same takes yeah absolutely do i think they all work together i think they all work together bro if if one of them doesn't get a review key then the rest of them will come out and bash the game i i do i think they do work together bro i i really do I mean, when have you ever seen any of them have a different opinion on, on any game? They just come out and bash everything. Some games get bashed, sometimes, some games don't. And the funny thing is, is like most of them are all pretty much the same. Like all of these games are average, bro. Only very few of them actually get to a point where they're like absolute bangers. Looks smooth as hell. Yeah. We need more game devs. How many game companies have been closed or are now owned by Microsoft? There's no one left. <laughs> Actually, yeah, exactly. I probably will buy both of them, Elden Lord Raiden. Looking forward to Stellar Blade, but I think it's going to be a wake-up call for the gaming industry if it's run by too many if it's run by too many activists and leftists. I just, dude, for seventy bucks, I would rather I I would rather just wait until it's like forty dollars to buy that game. That's all I'm saying. I don't hate Stellar Blade. I I I mean, usually I like those kind of games, but for seventy bucks, I'm not feeling it, bro. If it was launching on PC, Ryan, if if Stellar Blade was launching on PC day and day, I would buy it. And I would pay the $70 for it. But I'm not going to pay $70 for the PlayStation 5 experience for that game. But I would pay $70 if it launched day and date on PC. I would. I don't hate it. It just kind of felt a little sluggish to me. It's weird. They drop videos with the exact same... Yep, you're right. That's why I don't. I don't really... Why do you think I started my channel in the first place, Gaming Survivor? Because I got sick and tired of hearing <clears throat> hearing these guys bash games that I love. And I'm like, really, dude? Like, Dreamcast guy always being negative about my Ubisoft games. I love Ubisoft, dude. I'm a Ubisoft fanboy. Even, I, I would forgive Ubisoft. Ubisoft is probably the only company I would forgive putting woke shit in video games just because 99.9% .9 of the time I ignore all that shit anyways and just explore the world. <laughs> uh, you looked at me for all your information. I appreciate that, Kenneth. I just want you guys to know exactly what you're going to buy so that you're not wasting money. And uh, honestly, guys, most of the time, I feel like spending more money on the NVIDIA GPU over the AMD card is kind of a waste of money. I, I do. I kind of feel like it's a waste of money that, that you could use for something else, bro. I'm not saying NVIDIA is bad. I'm just saying that they, they're, they're a bit high in their pricing. If they were if they were more evenly priced with AMD, because AMD is good. I think they should be more evenly priced. I don't think I don't think NVIDIA tech is worth the extra money over what AMD is bringing to the table now. Just because. You know what I mean? I, th I think they both are, I think they're both equal, you know, like NVIDIA's tech with less VRAM should be the same price as AMD 7800 XT with more VRAM and a better user experience. Stellar Blade, um, it's, to me it felt pretty sluggish in the balanced mode and I don't know, man. It just kind of feels generic, bro. If it, it feels like another, like I had said this a long time ago, you guys can go back and look for it. But I said that Stellar Blade felt like another Godfall, and everybody, like it does. Like to me, it just feels like another Godfall. Like it's it's good and flashy at first, 
but I, I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna hold up to be like some like great next big thing. Um, the next big Xbox game isn't it going to be Hellblade in May? Isn't Hellblade two coming out in May? I just think people are gonna have buyer's remorse with Stellar's Blade. Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade, people are going to have buyer's remorse because <clears throat> Stellar Yams only goes so far, man. You're going to have to actually have some fun, interesting gameplay and story, though. Is a RTX 3060? The 3060 is not a bad card. The 3060 is not a bad card. It's actually pretty potent GPU. It just lacks VRAM. That's that's the only thing that's wrong with the 3060. Well, the 3060, well, is there a 16 gig or a 12 gig for that card? I think there's a 12 gig option. If you're going to buy one, buy that one. Waiting for Stalker 2. Absolutely. That game's going to be pretty cool. But I, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect it to come out perfect. I think it's going to have issues at first. I mean, PlayStation had a good first of the year. We'll, we'll give them that. You know, Rise of the Ronin. I, I like it. I like Rise of the Ronin. Not not like, uh, not to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, you Rise of the Ronin is the best game I've ever played. But <coughs> actually, actually, I could probably show you guys that. I could probably show you guys some Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the Roni. I can show you guys some Rise of the Roni. Rise of the Roni. Rise of the Roni and Stellar Yams. Permit. If you're after one, I might know someone who's got some. The head of the gang of rogues that's occupying the local magistrate's house. Yeah, Stellar Blades is selling pretty good. I saw that. It's like number three or something. Uh oh. Yep, you guys know my you guys know my uh you guys know my uh, my password to my PlayStation 5 now. Want to go and purloin some permits? Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> That's the spirit. I knew you had a bit of fight in you. <laughs> Let's see what this has to offer. So I am playing this in the 30 frames per second mode. So that you guys are getting a 4K um, thing. Because it, it just felt like pretty janky. It just felt pretty janky with it in freaking uh, balance mode. So I was like, oh boy. Big place. I wonder where their leaders hold up. Oh, buddy. Off with your cantaloupe head, brother. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> 
Nice. Defeat formidable fo foes. So that means there's going to be three toughies. Three toughy guys. <laughs> the graphics don't look right for some reason. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, man. Like, it can be on ninja. Trying to jump up on a window seal. Really? It's going to show me that stupid thing the whole time? I hate it when the games do that, man. Ghost of Tsushima is significantly better than this, bro. Ghost of Tsushima. Wow, we jumped right in there and took these guys out. Where's the other formidables? I was hoping that maybe I could like chop through that wall. Yeah. Chop through this one.
Any more baddies over there? Ooh, boy. Okay, we can go up there. Oh my gosh, man. Freak! What the heck? Because I give you everything I own. You would not have come here if you were after something, right? So, what is it? Judging by your appearance, I say you lack money. Or a good soul, perhaps. Come on! There must be something! <laughs> Uh, I'm going to spare him. Yeah, so <clears throat> that there is Rise of the Ronin, but you kind of got to play it at like 30 frames a second because it feels way worse. It was it, it felt so much worse. Honestly, guys, <clears throat> it felt so much worse trying to play it in balance mode that I was like, "Ooh, gosh, I don't know about this one." Too much color orange. Too much color orange. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. I mean, obviously, it's a fun game. Like, it's fun. 
Once you get better at it, it's pretty good. Yeah, 45, it it just did not feel that good on the PS, or, or, or on, and it's like 60 FPS, but it drops a lot in the open world. I liked PlayStation 2. I thought the PlayStation 2 was probably my favorite PlayStation by far. PS4 is pretty good too <clears throat> until we got into the whole 4K nonsense. Then it then it kind of fell apart with the PS5 Pro. The Rise of Ryan. Uh, uh. <laughs> I really hope that um I really hope that my PS5 Pro will play that game better. PS2 and 360, yeah. <laughs> Tony Baloney, I'm more interested in Dragon's Dogma 2 over Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a significantly better game, dude. Um if you have a PC, should you buy a PS5 Pro? I don't plan to get one. Um I don't necessarily think you need to, but I kind of Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably end up getting one. So that I can make you FOMO and want to buy one. I don't know. Obviously, PS5 Pro is going to be better than PS5. It'll be it'll be better. It'll be better. It'll it'll I don't know. I think if you are um I think if you've got a PC, I don't necessarily think you absolutely need it, but I mean if you want to be a PlayStation um, Stellar Blade, Stellar Blade, I think it'd be better at 40 bucks, honestly. $40. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a very good game. Now that everybody's done hating it for microtransactions, I mean, I put up a few videos on it and... I've put up a few videos on it, and they seem to do all right on that one. Upscaled resolution, though, on PS5 Pro and not. Yeah, I mean, um, you're pretty much going to need, um, you're, you're going to need upscaling on PS, on, on consoles, no matter what. They just, you, the, the market for consoles is like price locked. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I made a video a while back saying that Xbox and PlayStation should make $1,000 consoles and people freaked out on me. Yeah, you, stop, you, you don't, can't do that. I'm like, why not, dude? I think there's a market for it. I I think that a lot of older gamers would definitely pay 1000 bucks for a, for like a, a high-powered PS5 or Series X. I think the market's there. I mean, it would have to be like a pro model, though. You know what I mean? Like, buy your regular Xbox or your PlayStation 5, but then have the pro model, but make sure you can download and install and play PC games on that as well. Well. <sighs> my channel is small. The other channels that say it's bad are bigger than mine, so... 
I don't think the microtransactions in Dragon's Dogma 2 is bad. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> 200 watts, yep. Yeah. 200, 300 watts max power for those consoles. And you need that higher power. You need that higher, you know, power supply so that you can actually run. <clears throat> it's not just it's not just how much compute power you have. It's how much actual freaking power pushes those systems too. <clears throat> you know, my uh, my uh, freaking forty seventy super alone is almost two hundred freaking watts, or it's like two hundred twenty watts. <clears throat> so you need. Yep. <laughs> yep. Camus doesn't pay me money. Camus doesn't give me any money. Only products. <laughs> <laughs> But if they ever want me to do 20 more videos again, I am going to ask for money. Because that is very time consuming. Very time consuming. Uh, your PS4 Pro almost died this week. Could be an excuse you need to get a PS5 Pro. Yeah. Just pour water in it. It probably won't survive. It might not survive. Why did everybody leave when I started playing that video game, dude? It's a gaming channel. I start playing a game and everybody leaves. They're like, okay, goodbye. I'm like, dude, that sucks. We had 46 people here. And then I started playing the game and then it went down to 30. That's crazy, man. If you play video games, everybody leaves. They just want the trash talking. See what I mean, guys? I spend all that money on all those video games, and then I cover them, and nobody really watches those those videos. But then when I do like stuff that they say they don't want, everybody watches it. So I don't know. I'm confused. I get confused a lot with this channel. Wow. all right my friends well i'm gonna go get me some lunch and i'm gonna jump back on dragon's dogma 2 for the rest of the night xbox sucks playstation sucks xbox sucks ah oh, that's so bad but, all right, guys, I'm going to go get me some food, and then I'm going to jump back on Dragon's Dogma 2. YouTube has conditioned drama watchers. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> Watch some come back now. It's a slow week for releases. Oh, it's going to be a slow little while. I made you a PC fanboy. <laughs> oh, dang. PC fanboys upgrade my vocation yeah i just maxed out i just maxed out the um i just maxed out my uh my uh, fighter so now i'm gonna try the wayfarer yeah i'm a maxed out fighter so now i'm gonna try wayfarer get your pawn a new vacation while you're at it okay yeah i'll max i've, I've already maxed them both out on fighter so I think I'm going to try something different with them. I'm thinking about making uh, my, my pawn a warrior and then doing the wayfarer for mine. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've maxed out all my skills. All my skills are, 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 are equipped. Yeah, I went through doing that last night. So... All right, my friends. Thank you guys for coming tonight. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Um, maybe another live stream later this week or something. I don't know. I've been trying to focus a little bit more time playing video games. But we had a whole bunch of family over this weekend, so I didn't really get to play until yesterday. So, All right, my friends. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming tonight.